Your Iridium PTT handset provides fast, secure, and reliable group communications to and from anywhere in the world. Before using your Iridium Extreme PTT, please make sure you or your service provider have activated your handsets and talk groups. Iridium PTT devices work in coverage areas that you define in Iridium's PTT Command Center. If your device is unable to register to the network or is not displaying a talk group name, Please confirm your location is within a defined talk group area. Iridium is an open skies network. This means to have a clear signal, you must be able to see the sky all around you. Because Iridium satellites are constantly moving to provide global coverage, the signal strength can fluctuate and is sensitive to blockage. Before beginning a transmission, check your signal strength. It's best to have at least three bars. Trees, buildings, and mountains can block the satellite's line of sight to your device. Check your talk site by extending your arm and sticking your thumb up. Slowly turn 360 degrees. Anything between your thumb and the sky could temporarily affect your signal. Try and find an area with as much open sky as possible for your PTT communications. Now, let's start using your Iridium Extreme PTT handset. Press and hold the power button on top of the handset to turn it on. Once it is registered to the network, you will see the talk group name listed on the screen. Make sure you are on the same talk group as your teammates. When you are ready to speak, hold the handset 6 inches away from your mouth, with the antenna pointed towards the sky. If the antenna is sideways or downwards, service quality will degrade. Press and hold the push to talk button. When you hear this sound, you can begin talking for up to 40 seconds. While you talk, other members of your talk group will be able to see your device name and relative location. When you are finished talking, release the PTT button so others can speak. If you get a request denied message, it could be because someone else is currently speaking, the signal has temporarily faded, or momentary blockage has interrupted your signal. In order to reduce these types of interruptions, make sure your channel is open or idle. To change talk groups, select Menu and choose the desired talk group. You can also scan between all active talk groups and listen for transmissions by selecting Scan. The Iridium Extreme PTT is designed to operate as a handheld device on the go. For optimal performance, the handset should always be used with a carrying accessory to keep the antenna facing upwards and above your shoulder. If you are interested in solutions to extend Iridium PTT services inside vehicles or buildings, please contact your service provider. Introducing the world's smartest and most innovative satellite phone, the Thuraya X5 Touch. The first satellite phone with an Android operating system and a 5.2-inch Full HD touchscreen LCD, making it the first satellite phone in the industry to bring everyday smartphone functions to the remote environments of satellite communication. Its true dual-mode capabilities and the ability to use two SIM cards simultaneously allow customers to switch between satellite and terrestrial networks. The Raya X5 Touch is also fitted with a front and rear camera and comes with GPS, Beidou, and GLONASS. In addition, it has built-in navigation and tracking applications, including geofencing and tracking by time and by distance. The Thuraya X5 Touch keeps you connected wherever you are, keeping you covered in more than 160 countries across Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. And if you find yourself in an emergency situation, simply use the dedicated SOS button that you can pre-program with your emergency contacts. The Raya X5 Touch, the world's smartest satellite phone.
Here's an Inmarsat iSat Phone 2. And I'm going to show you how to find a connection, add a contact, make a call, send a text message, share your location, and lastly, the assistance button. You can see that I'm outdoors in a large open area with no obstructions around me, such as tall buildings. This is important to get a good connection for your iSat Phone 2 as you need a good line of sight between your phone's antenna and an Inmarsat satellite in orbit. Before you can do anything, you need to turn on the phone by pressing firmly on the red button. Then deploy the antenna and make sure you hold the phone with the antenna upright, pointing at the sky. It's now ready because I've got more than two signal bars. To make calls and send text messages, you need at least two bars. Next. I'll show you how to add a contact on your iSat Phone 2. It's easy to do and saves you having to remember contact details. Select Contact by pressing the top right button on the keypad. Select Phone Book, then go to Options and select New Contact. I will now add contact details of my colleague Sarah. As the iSat Phone 2 is a satellite phone, all phone numbers should be saved as full international numbers. After entering the contact details, press Options and select Save. Sarah is now added to my phone book as a contact. There are two ways of making a call, either from the saved contacts or by typing the number into the keypad. To call a contact, simply select Contacts and go to Phone Book. Highlight the name of the person you want to call and press the green call button to dial. If you don't have a phone number saved, you can type one directly into the keypad using a full international number. First, type 00, then the country code, for instance 44 for the UK, the area code, and the rest of the number. When ready, press the green button to place the call. When on the call, you may need to adjust the angle of the antenna so that it remains pointed at the sky while the handset is comfortably positioned for talking. To hang up, simply press the red button. To send a text message, press the top left button to open menu. Then select the messaging icon. It's already highlighted. Select new message and again, then go into text message. Next, move the cursor up to the to box and enter the number just like you would if making a call. Or Select the saved number from the contact menu. Then move the cursor down to write the message using a keypad. When you're ready to send, select Options and select Send. This envelope icon with a little flashing green arrow indicates that the text message is being sent. A message will then appear on the screen confirming that the text has been sent. That means we're done. Don't forget, the antenna must be deployed and pointing towards the sky to send messages. Let's say you're in the field and want to share your location with your team elsewhere. It's not an emergency situation, just business as usual. There are three options to do this on the iSat Phone 2. Tracking, personal alert, and sending your GPS location all require you to be connected to the network. Sending your GPS location is a one-off message. So I'll take you through how to do that. Press the menu button on the top left. Then, using the central navigation keys, scroll down to Location Services. Select this, and it will open a list of options. Scroll down to Send GPS. The iSat Phone 2 then asks you to obtain a new GPS location and shows that you have a GPS fix acquired. You can now send a location as either a text message, short email message, or a tweet. Next, move the cursor up to the To box and enter the number just like you would if making a call, or else select the saved number from the contacts menu. Once ready to send, press Options followed by Send. Like sending a text, the same envelope icon with a little flashing green arrow indicates that it's been sent. A message will then appear on the screen, confirming that your GPS location has been sent. It's as easy as that. A life-saving feature of the iSat Phone 2 is the Assistant button, located here on the top of the handset. In a critical situation, the assistance button allows you to initiate a voice call 
or trigger an assistance alert message, including your GPS location, to your pre-selected recipients, allowing them to notify emergency services. Once configured, to use the assistance button, your handset must be switched on and the antenna deployed. Flip open the latch located here to reveal the assistance button and press firmly to activate. We recommend that you configure this assistant feature as soon as you have your phone. Hopefully you will never have to use it. That's it. I hope the video was helpful. For more information on iSat Phone 2, please visit inmarsat.com. Thank you.